Okay, this is the exciting time, the moment when we get to see whether our joints are actually going to fit together. Hopefully, if we've cut them right, they'll be just tight enough that they fit inside each other. Now, instantly I can see that one's not going to fit, it's too tight. So, I must have done something there where I haven't quite sanded over my pencil line. So, what you've got to do is basically put, line it up next to each other and see which one needs a bit of a trim. And you can see that some of these joints, maybe you can see it, are overlapping just a tiny bit. So I'll need to go back and um, have another look at those and just give them a little bit of a trim down. So my smile from the start is now no longer so much of a smile. But um, this one's the same actually, so it could be just my marking was a little bit off in some of these. So I'm gonna need to go back and check those. Do any of them fit? Seems like they're all in about the same place where basically I haven't quite shaved off enough. Now we need to do this quite methodically, so we better come down and have a closer look. So, <coughs> what are we going to do about this? Um, we need to essentially line these up and then with our pencil, which I've left over here, we're going to need to mark out which ones of these are the ones that actually need to be trimmed. So basically, if the, left, if the two pieces are overlapping where the join are, it's not going to fit. So in other words, there's one in there where it needs a little bit. I can see this one is overlapping a little bit. So I just need to mark it somehow so I can go and say, okay, I've got to shave off either one or the other of these a tiny bit, maybe even both, like this top one up here. You could even put a ruler up against it, you know, to... Um, basically just redraw that line in between the two pieces and then go back over to the table saw and shave it. So, and, you, and the reason I've got this third piece on the top of here is so that I know that the top, which is where I was supposed to be measuring from originally, the tops of these pieces is lined up. In fact, because I'm at the table saw, might as well make it easy for myself in doing this by just pushing them up against the edge there. So if you, ha you could do it on the wood burning table or anywhere really. So it stands out pretty much here which ones need to be cut off. So I need to just maybe put a little X next to the ones that I'm going to shave. So this one needs a bit of a shave off just there. And just draw the line to show, if you draw the pencil line it will show whereabouts it's got to be shaved off to. Like in most of these cases I'm only talking about not even half a millimetre. It's you know not much to cut off. So you just need to put a little mark where you're going to cut. Some of them though, you'll see that they're already, it's, it's not going to be in, in the way, like this one through here. It is um, not going to get, it, like the pieces, the joint is um, going to fit in together. So it's only the ones where they actually, the timber overlaps. Jeez, there's a few of them. Okay, so basically I'm going to just go and fix that. So let's come across and I'll show you. <coughs> Go across to the uh, bandsaw and uh, just the same sort of process as what we had before. Oh, hello. Hello. Okay, so just very lightly shave off the ones, uh, just a tiny bit. Would it, I think the risk in doing this is if we shave off too much, we're going to have gappy joints. Okay, but to me it looks like the ones where the I haven't quite shaved off all of the pencil, or I haven't touched. I mean, I have not quite touched the pencil. Is the ones where um, it seems to be a little bit too tight. So I just said is I've got to go and recut to shave a tiny bit bit off of those ones. So I reckon that's getting closer. What does that fit into? That's the back. So it's this right piece here. Let's just give it another go. No, there's still a couple on that other piece. So I'll try cutting a few of these, shaving a few of these ones down and tighten this. You really should look at them one by one. Yeah, rightio, yeah. that one needs a tiny bit of a shave, like a quarter of a mil. What's next? This one. So this could be a bit of a process, really. 
one more I can see here. The thing is, if even one of them is too tight, then it's not going to not going to allow it to slide in together. And you'll see that you'll be able to look at it and see which one seems like it, um, it's overlapping the most, and just lightly shave that away. All right, is that going to fit? There we go. Okay, so that's just fitting. Now this is going to end up going around sideways like that and fitting together. Now that's not bad. Okay, I haven't pushed that right in there yet. So that's the process for all the joints. So I was going to be ready to show you the next step, but I'm going to need to take a two minute break and um, re-check all of these. And you'll probably need to do the same. So just basically checking the joints are all fitting together. Then I'll show you the next step. Just wanted to get in a little bit closer to show you how much I'm shaving off. Hoping you can still see this. It's um, very, very little. Just very, just gently go up against the edge there and just try and shave off like a quarter of a mil, not even that. And then just recheck it. So that's pretty much fitting. There's a little bit up in this one here I'm going to shave, or that one there. Try this one. Not even a blade's width of the band saw. Still too wide. Try this one. Take these ones I don't need out of the way. Just be careful, don't to cut too much off. If you cut too much off of it, it's going to be loose. I was thinking before about how sad I was that I wasn't able to have the joint go in straight away. And who doesn't want to have it come off the saw and have the joint fit perfectly together? But in reflection, I'd much rather have it too tight and have to shave off a little bit more like this to get it to fit perfectly than to have it too loose to start with and have to fill it up with putty, which is going to be ugly. So this is not a bad result. Oh, getting very close. Another thing you want to know is you do not want to force this together. If it doesn't go in firmly by hand, you may end up splitting the wood. So you just got to look for which is the next bit. And I reckon that's down in, it seems very tight there, a little bit tight there, perhaps even down there and this one a little bit tight. So you can just look at those marks that you made and see which one you want to shave off a tiny bit more off. But I'm just trying to emphasize here, you don't want to shave off much, but if you shave off a lot of this, you're going to end up having loose joints. Ooh, see like that. That fit together very easily that time, which means I probably took off a little bit too much. Anyway, now we'll move on to the next step. <laughs> 